Hello friends, Harshal here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about parameters and how can we create a lambda function. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to uh, show you uh, the, the code for the parameters. So how can we write the parameters in the template? So here is the parameters. So in the parameters, we have uh, defined that instance type. Okay, the type is uh, defined here and the value string will be uh, fetched from from this by default. Okay, EC2 instance type. So the parameter will be EC2 instance type and whatever uh, whatever the value we have set. So that value will be fetched from here. Okay, then image ID, right? So image ID, uh, what is the image ID? Here is the image ID and that image ID will be uh, uh, will fetch from this. Okay so we uh, what we have to do we need to create the parameters okay uh, we will create parameters from these two and uh, we will create parameters from these two uh, from parameter store in amazon ssm so how can we do it uh, i will show you the demonstration okay so but before that we have to check this resource as well okay so there is only one resource that is my instance with parameters right and it will refer to image id and it will refer to instance type so image id the value uh, it will fetch from here the image id okay and here the instance type will be uh, will refer from here so so the instance will be created right instance will be created and that instance uh, will uh, will launch with the image id and the instance type that we will uh, define in the parameter store so okay i hope that you understand this code uh, okay so right now we go here and we should create a stack so I'm creating a stack and the code is parameter SSM. Okay, dot uh, YAML file WML. So whatever the code you are written, okay. So the uh, the last extension extensions uh, should be dot YML. Okay. So uh, we can give the name here. That is, I'm doing test. Okay, so the uh, EC2 AMI ID and the instance type, right? It will. Okay, so uh, for now, there is some mistake I have done. Okay, uh, look here if I added that uh, SSM dot uh, YAML file, right? So here next option right so here you can see there is no parameter value uh, we can see here right why because we have not added the parameters in the parameter store so uh, we will go to ssm and here in the parameter store we have to uh, create the parameters so here you can see uh, where is okay here is the parameter store so create the parameter store so uh, two parameter store uh, will be created uh, sorry two parameter will be created in parameter store so the first parameter would be uh, like this okay image id so i simply copy this and i paste here that is image id okay so name uh, this is the name of the parameter okay as uh, described in the code in the template and here it should be a uh, string because uh, look i show you here you can see that it should be a string right the type should be a string so that's why uh, we have uh, we have set the type is string and now value okay whatever the value we have given here uh, it should be uh, that should be fetch right 
uh, fetched by the EC2 instance. So right now uh, AMI ID, I'll get AMI ID from EC2. So there are so many AMI ID means Amazon images. So I would like to check Amazon images. So here is the AMI catalog. You can simply click on it. And here so many uh, uh, that AWS marketplace community AMI. Okay, and quick start uh, AMI. So there are so many images uh, you will get here. Uh, okay, for now, here is the AMI. Okay, this is for uh, cross 686 architecture. So I'm I just want to copy this image so here is AMI ID so I'll put value here right so this is AMI ID I chose okay okay so now I create again there is another uh, another parameter I want to create and that is instance type so I copy this and here instance type right so i know that the instance type i simply take t2 dot micro right you can take any instance type how do i know that t2 dot micro is the instance type so simply uh, you go to eci if you don't know that what uh, what are the types of instances then simply go to ec2 dashboard and here uh, where is here is the instance type right so simply click on it and you will get the list of ec2 inst uh, ec2 instance types so it will take some time because it is loading so okay guys you can see that instance types okay this is t1 micro t2 dot nano t2 dot micro okay and what are the virtual cpus you will get okay then the architecture it will uh, support then the memories right so we are actually using t2 dot micro it will uh, give 1 gb memory right so everything you will get and here is the on demand linux pricing so i am using that t2 dot micro here right so here is t2 dot micro uh, t2 dot micro yes correct simply create the parameter here okay so here you can see in the parameter you can see both the uh, parameters okay if you click on it you will get all the details okay this is the name and this is the value so uh, for now what we have to do again I cancel this okay uh, let's fresh start so okay and stack is created for now right so let's wait for some time and after creating the stack ec2 instance will be created uh, by using uh, this template the code that we have written in the template then as per the code ec2 instance will be created and uh, whatever the parameters we have set there those parameters will be applied those uh, I mean uh, that uh, AMI uh, AMI ID or uh, yeah Amazon image and the instance type will be applied to that EC2 instance. So okay, now creation is complete, and now I go to EC2, and here one instance is running right now. Okay, and it is an initialization, and let me check whether uh, as per the parameter. Uh, it is actually applied or not okay so I click here and here I can uh, where is here is the instance type right so the same instance type uh, I have uh, I have defined in SSM or the parameter store 
then if you go down here you can see the AMI ID okay let me check in uh, system manager if this is the same AMI ID or what okay here okay so this is AMI ID I click on it and here I can see okay 3b f 9 a so let me check 3b f 9 a okay so simply uh, the same uh, uh, same value is applied to the EC2 instance or the resource okay so I hope that you understand this uh, uh, this step and this topic okay so right now what we have to do uh, I simply uh, okay let me update this okay so uh, if I do refresh <coughs> okay so uh, I want to add something different right uh, let us go to parameter store okay and here right now I want to uh, create one more here I want to edit right so this is the instance type uh, okay not instance type am am I ID okay uh, Amazon ID you can even go with the instance type and I just want to edit this right and uh, the name should be the same okay it is the same and I just want to change the value okay I just want to change the Amazon image so if I go to EC2 instance and in the Amazon catalog, I simply change the Amazon image. Uh, let me go with this. Okay, free tier eligible. Okay. So I copy this and here I paste. Okay, this is 56 BB and I save the change right so if I go into AMI so here 56 BB right if I go here in the history you can see the first version is this uh, BF 9 a and the second version is 56 BB okay and I want to apply for this change so how can I do it simply uh, I'm in my stack okay Okay, let me cancel it so simply uh, in my this stack okay the Amazon the Amazon image uh, is using this stack is using Amazon image uh, with here you can see the Amazon image okay not here So here is the Amazon image that is BF9A okay so here is the Amazon e, uh, image that is BF9A and I want to change it to 56BB uh, so okay now uh, simply update and I just want to update the current template right so uh, here I go with the same and use existing role and if simply I go to next and simply update stack so it will be updated soon okay uh, here if I go to instance you can see that the old instance will be deleted soon will be terminated soon and the new EC2 instance will be launched it will take some time yes you can see that it is pending okay the new instance will be start running soon and this running instance that old instance will be deleted because of rollback right and that too with 56 BB so this instance should be 56 BB Amazon image 
so if I go down okay this is 56 BB right so it is updated and after some time it will start it shutting down okay so it is now shutting down so this happen uh, this can be uh, you can be do this you can update uh, the image ID or whatever the parameter you have created you can simply update it okay so uh, now I want to delete this so this is complete update is complete and I'm going to delete this for now So it will take some time to delete this tag okay so now what we have to do uh, I'll go okay I'll show you this second uh, code second template so here you can see uh, the parameter right so here the parameter is latest Linux uh, AMI ID right Amazon image ID and here you can see uh, image ID right and that image ID will be a uh, get from this right this will get from this so what is this this is the uh, this is the image name okay AMI name this is not the image ID okay image ID will be fetched from this and this uh, this one uh, we don't have to uh, we don't have to create parameter for this this one automatically take care by the AWS itself so they will uh, they will take care of it okay and if you uh, okay let me show you this so if on your uh, terminal if you have AWS installed in your system right in my system or uh, AWS is installed so I can uh, I can use AWS commands so here I want to use AWS command and want to check here you can see multiple AMI name and versions right so here is the GPU right uh, this one and this is the name AMI name right so and all the information the AMI ID will be fetched from this okay so this is the uh, by default okay then uh, this works for Windows too uh, we can do this for Windows for Mac for other operating system as well uh, okay so this is the code but it is not uh, it uh, does not make any sense okay it will not work at all so just for uh, for the information uh, we have written here that this work for window as well and this is the code for window if you want to install windows then uh, okay there is resources the resources is my instance with parameter so want to uh, create instance so here is the instance type and the properties here is uh, there are two properties image id and instance type so image id will uh, it will call for uh, from latest linux uh, ami id right so it will it will take value from here so it will fetch value from here okay not from windows because if you want to fetch the value from windows then you have to write this one okay so if you write this one instead of uh, uh, latest linux ami id you want uh, you should write latest windows ami id and this is t2.micro right this is the instance id so uh, here what we have to do okay so here we will uh, do the same okay this is deleted again I want to create a stack here I want to upload a file 
the file is here go to next stack is testing right and here you can see the parameter right this one and uh, latest windows uh, ami id this one okay so simply it will uh, the amazon image id will be uh, taken from this because uh, the resources have the reference for this uh, for this parameter only right so go to next and here uh, simply go to next So here it started working, started creating. Right, so automatically. Uh, it is defined by the AWS itself so don't uh, we don't need to add value we don't need to put value in uh, in the parameter store or in the parameter so it is completed now and if I go here in the instance so you can see one instance is running and here you can see the image ID it will take Here is the image ID, right? So, yes. Okay, so I hope that you understand this one also. That parameter is not parameter is not required for uh, for already defined by AWS itself. Now, here I want to I want to show you something that uh, let us say. Drift changes import. Okay, I'll tell you later on. Uh, okay, I want to say something, but I will. I will tell you later on because we do have one uh, one more code for this. I wanted to tell you about that drift result. Okay, so we are good here, and let me delete this one. So it is being deleted. Okay. Now there is depends on. Okay. So here is the depends on. And I tell you that what is the depends on. So. Uh, here uh, you can see the mappings right so AWS template format version this is the version and this is the mapping and here what happened there are resource there is a resource that is EC2 uh, instance and the type we have mentioned here and the find in map in map it will uh, it will find okay all the details everything and then demands on mydb so uh, we have added here demands on it means that after the creation of mydb instance okay after the creation of this the ec2 instance will be created right so if there is a failure uh, by launching uh, mydb in that case what happened ec2 instance will not create so this is uh, so this is the depends on uh, depends on key right so if we are using depends on here so it means that this is important and first it will launch it will uh, it will uh, it will launch and it will create successfully first and after that ec2 instance will be created or whatever the resource you you wanted to create so it will create after depends on and when we delete then what happened first ec2 instance will be deleted and after that my db will be delete right so that's what i wanted to show you so here okay now i'm creating this 
so uh, okay guys so here here is the depends on and So here in uh, in the events only you will uh, you will understand. So here you can see that my DB is started creating. Okay, so it will first it has to be created. Okay, after the creation of my DB, then uh, that EC2 instance will start creating will start launching. So it will take uh, time. Okay, guys. So uh, this code is taking too much time uh, to create the stack. So okay so let's go to the next topic that is no it's not working it's taking too much time okay so what I do I go here and I create a new stack so before creating the stack uh, let me show you something so that is lambda cloud formation and here uh, inline lambda function so if you want to create inline lambda function by using a cloud formation template so here is the code you can simply uh, go through this code so here is the resource that is lambda execution role and type of role is here then you can see the properties okay uh, this is the uh, this is the policies and here is the lambda uh, amazon this is the service then action and here is another policy okay and the action will be s3 and this will allow the action will be taken is that create log group create log stream and log events will be created then it will list bucket s3 lambda so here is here is the index dot handler it index means uh, that we are actually creating inline uh, lambda function so that's why index is here uh, index dot handler and here is the handler here is the handler right so yeah event and context then uh, the role is get attribute from here lambda execution role and the runtime is 3 python 3.7 and here is the complete code okay and you can see here a vertical pipe it means that the whole code is is a single array okay so this is our inline code so okay so let's create inline a lambda function so upload the template file so here is inline lambda function then go to next and here testing or we can say lambda function next And here you can see that we are actually creating IAM resource so that's why uh, we need to tick that box here we are creating the stack and stack is in progress so our lambda stack is in progress and it will take some time
okay so it started creating the lambda uh, execution role is started creating so this is this uh, resource so here in resource you can see that lambda execution role is the first resource and the second one is bucket sl lambda okay so let's go to lambda and here if we check In lambda the new uh, function has been created right lambda function the name of our here you can see the name of our stack that is lambda function so the same name you can see here okay and uh, it will list the bucket s3 lambda so simply click on it and here you can see this function belongs to an application click here to manage it it means that it is uh, it is created by using the uh, AWS uh, cloud formation template so it is completed now and okay we are good here so if you go down here you can see the code okay the same code that is actually defined in in the template now uh, we want to uh, we want to test the code whether this code is actually uh, it is working or not right so let's test the code and give the name that you can give any name okay So go down and save it and now we can uh, do testing so it will start testing and here uh, you can see the status is showing successful here status is successful and the memory used that is 73 MB and here is the time that is 183.35 millisecond and here is the complete uh, uh, test even name then uh, function logs you can see the logs and here is the request ID and here is the response that you will get okay uh, this is the uh, list of the bucket okay and if you want to check just go to s3 so this is the bucket right so here you can see us east one then siu5 siu5 us east one right so it will list the s3 bucket so that's what we uh, we got here in the output okay so this is uh, so this is the way you can create lambda function in line inline lambda function so if I there is one more point if I want to uh, delete this function lambda function then here you can see what happened okay deleting function permanently removes the function code the related logs roles test events schemas and triggers are retained in your account so we can delete it from here okay and okay so here uh, you can see that test okay so my db uh, is first uh, uh, first uh, this is depend on right depend on a uh, key so my db uh, should be created first and after that that ec2 instance will be created okay so it took a lot of time uh, so i just wanted to show you that first it is completed and after that that ec2 uh, creation is completed but it's okay I missed it so okay it's not uh, not a difficult task uh, so you understood very well okay so right now I delete both now this is lambda function
okay right now get back and here uh, you can see the zip file okay now this time what uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, save we will save code in s3 bucket right and uh, we will use this uh, uh, we will create the lambda function okay but uh, we do not need to uh, we do not need to define the code the actual user data okay uh, we don't need to define in the template so what i do i just i just create a zip file uh, where code is reside residing in and i'll put uh, this zip file in s3 bucket so it will take uh, that code and it will uh, compute these codes to get the result so now for that uh, i need to create a stack again so the new stack will be created here if file okay okay before that i need to create a bucket so here i want to create a bucket bucket name is lambda bucket and here i created a bucket okay so okay there is new name should be name is already exist so now okay so bucket has been created right and in bucket i i just create a folder that is uh, lambda okay i create a folder and now i want to upload a zip file so here i can uh, simply add the zip file and i want it to upload here so it will take some time to upload so a zip file is uploaded successfully and okay so here is the code Oof, I guess we have done something wrong so here I'm just deleting it because I wanted to it's okay if I have if I have uh, uploaded uh, in the bucket but I just wanted to show you something different here I have to uh, go inside and here I wanted to upload the object so now you can see that lambda uh, function dot zip file and okay now here in the cloud formation So here, S3 bucket uh, permanent and uh, S3 bucket uh, S3 key permanent, right? Uh, sorry, parameter S3 bucket parameter and S3 key parameter. So both both we have to uh, specify, we have to uh, define. Uh, but before that, I would like to uh, show you here the code, right? Here in the parameter, right? You can see that S3 bucket parameter. Uh, this should be a string then s3 key parameter right so both the thing we have to uh, we have to define in uh, in parameter store so we should go here in the parameter store where it's parameter store here is right so right now what i have to do i just delete it i want to delete, delete this as well now I create a new parameter 
and the parameter name should be okay the para uh, parameter name should be uh, this one no this is not the parameter name yes this is the parameter name and where is parameter okay here this is the name of the parameter right this is the name of the parameter and here is the value so what would be the value the value is bucket right here is the bucket parameter so where is our bucket is here right so this is the bucket name that is lambda bucket 5454 this is the bucket name so here I copy and uh, okay here I would like to paste Right. Oh. Okay, here I, I have to paste. So this is the bucket. So I created S3 uh, bucket uh, parameter. Then one more. Uh, bucket I have to create it that is this one the key so what is the key I have to create the key and key, key is here that is lambda inside bucket there is a lambda or directly if I have uh, save file in the bucket so directly I can uh, show I can uh, simply copy and paste the name there and here the paste here I need to copy this name I copy and here I need to paste and I created parameter so both the parameter has been created okay now I have to mention here so SSS key uh, here is the key parameter and if I go down so I simply need to copy this value and paste it here So here you can see the bucket uh, parameter is this and the key parameter is this okay and now I have to uh, check in I have to uh, tick this uh, box and now we start creating the stack so again it will take some time so pause this video for some time okay guys now you can see how uh, it is created right uh, the stack is created so uh, let me go to lambda function now whether our lambda has been created or not the lambda function is now created right this is the name of the stack that is test so we have given the name that is test right so this is the lambda function that we want and just uh, go into it I click on it and here uh, we can see the code right here is the code so the code is s3 and if I go here okay and in the template here can you see the code no there is no code there is only references right the references is here references is there there is a bucket okay in the code there is a bucket name they have given okay it will refer to that bucket and the key is here and from there the code they will fetch okay so the lambda function has fetched the uh, code from there and this is the code 
which was available in the gc file in s3 bucket now uh, if i want to test let me test the code so it will uh, test successfully so it is successful and this is the response we are getting okay so this is 5454 five, what is this lambda bucket 5454 five, so let me check okay this is 5454 five, bucket okay okay right now uh, what we have to do here is the code right so if i want to okay let me show you uh, the another code that is lambda version s3 version yaml okay i just click on it and here uh, you can see that the uh, bucket uh, para parameter is string s3 uh, parameter is string and here you can see that s30 s3 object uh, sorry s3 object version parameter right so it is also string so the new new line we have added okay that is s3 object version parameter so why this line is added what is the importance of this so this has a very significant importance because because what happened uh, let me uh, tell you something if if we want to uh, let me tell you that uh, I am in S3 bucket right and if I want the code I want to change the code here is the code right so here is the code and if I want to change the code okay will it uh, uh, how can I do that how can I do that I can simply what can I do I can simply uh, change the code okay and then update here okay but if you uh, if you don't if you want to change the versioning then if there is there is more files available okay i don't want to delete this file i just want to add another version of this file or the different file okay i just wanted to add multiple files so in that case uh, there will be a error there will be an error right so to avoid this error how can we do that we can simply uh, we have added this uh, where is the okay uh, so here okay we have added this line okay s3 object version we need to enable versioning and we have to uh, paste the versioning here okay in the parameter uh, the uh, value of the parameter so how to do it let me tell you okay uh, not this one simply click here and okay before that I, what I have to do I simply go to the properties go here in bucket and inside the properties I have to enable the versioning and this is the bucket versioning simply edit this enable this versioning and save the changes so it started uh, now version uh, we can see the versioning okay so if the multiple files available here in this uh, in this file uh, in this bucket so uh, we can it can show a multiple versioning okay so here show versioning we can enable this also so what i do i just need to upload one more file so let me upload the same file okay same zip file
okay so now file has been uploaded and now you can you can check the version okay so this is the version id okay and now i go here i replace the current template with the uh, s3 object version template so that is this one okay then uh, go to next and here you can see that s3 object version parameter and where is the s3 object parameter here in s3 so here is the version id we simply copy it and if i go here and paste here go to next here or check tick the box and update the stack so stack will be updated soon okay guys so uh, we have completed this part also okay and uh, yeah it is uh, updated now and the next one is if i go back and here again i wanted to go back and here you can see that uh, uh, depends on parameter okay here is the drift here is the custom uh, resources and the uh, drift security so uh, first of all I, I would like to tell you about that diff security uh, quickly so what is the diff it is very simple uh, I just wanted to delete this one first okay so right now uh, I upload I need to upload the file that is uh, this one drift security The VPC ID, uh, which is already uh, already specified in the code in the template, so I will tell you about that code about the template. Then, okay, now create the stack. Okay, so here you can. Here you can see that this is uh, the parameter is given here uh, vpc id that's why vpc id we can uh, showed there in the parameter uh, parameter tab okay and the vpc id type is this right so vpc id whatever the vpc id is here here you can see uh, resources okay so the type of resources is this and test uh, security okay and this is cider ip and from port 22 port 22 and here tcp so it will refer uh, vpc id uh, vpc to create the security group into here okay and then http security uh, group here and this is cider and at and it will again refer to vpc id so uh, we have actually created two resources uh, let me check here okay so two resources has been created and both are the security groups right so if i go to ec2 here uh, so here if i go to ec2 and security group in the security group uh, you can uh, see there are uh, i have given the stack name that is drift okay so these two security groups uh, we have created and now uh, if we are going to check okay before that okay so here what we have to do first i need to check the uh, 
drift uh, we need to detect the drift okay so just i wanted to detect the drift and now i wanted to uh, view drift result so it is showing in sync okay so everything is perfect and uh, the resources is per perfectly sync with our ec2 instance so that's why it uh, it is showing in sync so i guess ec2 instance is not created yeah only two of course there is only two uh, security groups has been created right only two security groups has been created there is no ec2 uh, resource available so uh, that's why here okay but it is in sync okay uh, as expected uh, the security group has been created but if i do some changes here okay in this security uh, let me uh, change here inbound rule and edit the inbound rule here and let us say here i write something that is 192.125.6.9 okay like that okay and save the rule okay so i have done some changes right so if i go here and uh, okay in the stack here and again i detect uh, the drift okay it will take some time and it will show you the drift status which is drifted okay somebody has made some changes and that changes is uh, is not good so it is not expected at all so if i click here okay so here now you can see that it is modified that http security group is modified modified but ssh security group is not modified it is still in sync if i delete any port or something like that or do some changes then in that case it is also showing a drift status modified okay and the timestamp you can see here okay if i uh, i click here and i view the drift then it will show me that it is modified and here the expected and the actual okay the actual is this the cider ip has been changed from this okay it should be 0, .0, 0 0.0.0 okay but i have changed to 192 so uh, this is not good okay this is expected value and this is current value so you will come to know very well you understand this topic very well if you if somebody has uh, changed something in the resources in the configuration then uh, that drifted uh, that drift uh, detection will tell you that it is modified and what uh, what is to be expected and what is the actual value of it okay so this is the drift detection and okay so this is stack just want to delete just i need to delete the stack okay guys so now let's talk about a uh, customization of the resources uh, there are there are so many resources okay aws uh, provide and we can uh, define those resources in the template cloud formation templates but uh, there are some changes that we can't do with the resources right so that's why uh, we have to customize the re uh, resources uh, let us say uh, whenever we want to create any uh, any cloud formation template in that case what happened in s3 there is a bucket will be created right and that bucket will not be uh, deleted at all so in that case we can uh, customize uh, the template we can customize the resource and we can delete the template and whatever the file we stored in that s3 bucket uh, that everything will be uh, will be deleted so this can also po uh, this can be possible uh, by using custom resources okay so here is some code uh, let me show okay so first of all i create the stack for creating the stack i am 
pulling out this lambda mts3 this code okay and here you can see the template will be uh, stored here mm, custom resource or uh, empty bucket okay we are actually this code is for emptying the bucket so right now here next okay so uh, this tag is being created and here if we go to template here uh, there is complete information about the resource the lambda execution role will be created okay and there is a policy you can see and then uh, uh, the policy will be taken uh, from this and there is another policy and here the action will be taken uh, like uh, to create the log group to uh, to create log stream put log event and here empty s3 bucket right uh, it will uh, it will eventually invoke lambda the okay the cloud formation invoke lambda and lambda uh, will uh, will uh, i mean uh, will call uh, those resources uh, by using api calls right so uh, yeah so lambda will uh, delete this uh, s3 bucket and here is the function lambda function will be created here is the index.handler and get attribution and then uh, runtime would be a uh, python 3.7 and here is the code that is the zip file that is the code this is the code right and uh, and here after running this code if the request if the event is showing delete okay so uh, we can create custom resource uh, for delete update and create okay so every time the request uh, type should be delete update or create so whenever you want to create uh, a resource custom resource so uh, you have to uh, keep this point in your mind then uh, s3 bucket is this so uh, there is a object uh, there is the bucket name and object key everything will be deleted in s3 bucket and it will show uh, successful if it uh, if there is some error or any exception then it will print failed right then uh, again you can see that uh, send response this uh, stack id and everything will be fetched and uh, the output will be shown like this okay so it will get the attributes from empty bucket lambda dot arn and it will export this will be export okay empty s3 lambda will be export and we do have another code where uh, that empty s3 lambda will be import so uh, so right now it is completed okay it is created fine the creation has been completed and you can see the resource there are uh, two resources so empty uh, lambda bucket and here is lambda execution role right so uh, let's go here and we can check s3 bucket so this is the s3 bucket okay S3 bucket S3 here is the S3 bucket and whatever we write inside this bucket so this will be uh, this will be deleted so right now 
here it is okay here is the code and okay so next we have to create the stack The new stack will be created that is uh, okay and that stack uh, the code will be uh, this is custom resources now go to next give that is cleanup s3 clean up bucket okay we are actually clean up bucket by using this code I'll tell you about the code and here we create the stack so if you go in template so here you can see it is uh, it is referring to my bucket resource and it import the value of empty s3 lambda so whatever the value is in the s3 bucket so it will uh, it will import those value okay so it will take some time so here is the resources okay it is done now this is the s3 bucket and whatever we save in this bucket uh, this will be deleted if we delete the stack bucket will not be there okay this is the bucket and I just wanted to upload something here in the bucket so let us say I want to uh, upload uh, this JSON file okay anything so it will be uploaded shortly it is uploaded right so now if I go here I check the bucket and this is the cleanup bucket right so whatever whatever we put here in this bucket everything will be clean up and that bucket itself will be deleted so because we have written the code uh, in this way so for that reason okay let me go here and let me check the test do event and save and now test so here you can see the error message is coming right why error message because stack is not deleted right now okay that is why it is showing a uh, failed so it should be deleted because we have created a uh, custom we have created custom uh, resource for the deletion so when uh, stack will be deleted everything uh, that is available in the bucket will be clean up and the bucket will be deleted itself so uh, here is the bucket that is uh, the name with cleanup bucket right and here is okay right so this is the cleanup bucket that bucket is created now what I do I simply uh, delete this bucket this time so let's check it out what happened So whatever now I am going here in S3 where is here okay in S3 bucket and let me check that cleanup bucket uh, this has to be deleted now you can see that cleanup bucket is deleted uh, with 
uh, with whatever the file we saved there everything has been deleted right so so this is called the uh, custom uh, custom resource so we can create custom uh, resource in that way we have to uh, write the code in uh, in cloud formation template and uh, this is how it will work so guys thank you so much for watching my video have a good day bye